and welcome to another Craft Along with Kabata Castle video. Um, my name is Christopher Parry and I work at Kabata Castle. And this is... Megan Rosan Parry. Megan Rosan Parry. And Megan's got a little bit of bad <coughs> asthma in a minute, so if she coughs, don't mind her, okay? She's fine now. <coughs> and... A bit of powder, 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 powder. With, with chocolate chops, because she's just had a hot chocolate. All you need for this craft before we get underway is clay, preferably air drying, but whatever you got, if you've got salt dough or any old clay is fine. And a cutting moulding tool. What we're going to be doing today is we're looking at something from uh, the Egyptian collection held at Kavartha Castle Museum Art Gallery. Do you remember the last tube? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what she did, do you remember the last one? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a worksheet that I put together and you'll see pictures of that worksheet on the screen. So if you go to kabata.com, downloadable content tab, you can download this from there. When you download the sheet, you don't need to print it out, you can copy it off the screen like I'm doing here. And simply what you'll see is you'll see Mr. Saudi telling you a few facts about himself and you'll see a picture of an Egyptian scarab amulet that he brought back and that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be sculpting ourselves a scarab beetle can you explain what it is i can if you see on the screen here can you see best mm -hmm. that is an amulet now the egyptians like an ancient bug or something. yeah this is like three thousand years it's based on the dying beetle a beetle that collects um, poo in the desert and stuff like that yeah. serious because yeah. the beetle would collect this big <coughs> pile of dung and he would roll it and Egyptians would look at it and think how is a little bug pushing such a big pile of poop <coughs> and they looked up at the sky as well because they were constantly questioning the world around them see and they looked up at the sky and they did, couldn't, couldn't understand how the sun was moving through the sky and they couldn't understand why the bug um, had strength um, and so they it was a god pushing they the thought sun. well if there's this invisible <coughs> god pushing something through the sky then it's probably like a beetle because he can push this big pile of down. So, yeah. The scarab beetle was really important to the Egyptians and they used amulets for the living and for the dead and they were supposed to bring about lots of different things. The scarab brings about rebirth, apparently. So in mummies, <coughs> you know what mummy is? Yeah. They, they would put not a scarab beetle where the heart was for a, for a mummy. Not a mummy mummy, not your mummy. <laughs> no, 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 no. But anyway, on screen beer we've got a picture of an amulet that Mr. Southey brought back to Merthyr. <coughs> That's a pretty So we are going to do that. So what we've got to do first and foremost, I put our it. cutting tool away. We don't need that for a second. And touch it. And touch it. We don't need it for a second. Yeah, and what we want to do is we want to make this lump Squash into it. a flatter lump about two to three centimeters thick more or less you don't want it more thicker than two three centimeters so you use your hands and push it down nice and firm and turn it over if you want because if you're using a drying clay it will stick to the table a bit well, like mine has clearly done already oh. and then you just keep turning it over because otherwise it'll stick all right i'm so sorry about this dad <laughs> I don't mind about the mess. It's, it's gonna stay. Yeah, it's messy, but that's what part of the fun is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So if we put that on there, they can it's probably it's see. So if you look at mine, that's kind of what you want, really. It's a yes. little bit thinner than maybe necessary, but like that. And you want it about that wide as well. Right? So what we're gonna do now, right, guys? Yeah. Is we're gonna get a cutting tool and we're gonna cut an oval shape in the clay. Now, before you start cutting, though, <coughs> use use your sense and just draw out the shape before you cut so and use all of the you look at me Bess. use all of the clay so go right to the edge so we're using a nice big oval shape like that so you want something like that and then once you're happy with your oval shape then use the sharper side of your tool <coughs> to actually dig in <coughs> to the clay and cut that shape out yeah. Yeah, let's see what I'm doing now. So you're digging in and cutting the shape out yourself along the line you've made. I'm just cutting now, like cutting like I just done. Yeah, wait. You, do, you don't need to use air drying clay if you haven't got it. Like I say, there's loads of recipes online to make your own clay and to make soft dough and things like that. <laughs> you do whatever you've got the materials to do. I got air drying clay hanging about, so that's what I'm using, simple enough. And yeah, so what you cut out should look something along the lines of that. A nice oval shape, essentially. I have a circle shape. Now, the size and scale of the amulet is up to you. If obviously the younger children, they might want it a bit bigger. On the form, they, on the downloadable content page, 
they'll tell you how to make a big version really which is about the size of kind of Megan's really yeah. okay and so what we are going to do now is we are going to look at the picture that we've got <coughs> probably that side will be easier for you to do we're going to look at this picture that we've got of the scarab and we're going to copy the lines same as we did before though with the finer end look at me and and then you lightly draw your lines before you go a bit deeper, okay? Exactly right, Betsy. So as you can see, we're just simply making the lines like Betsy is there. Keep going, you got it. So just look at this picture, the top we are going by, okay? The most difficult bit is the head. Because the head has got lots of different lines on it. Dots. Can I just draw random lines? If you want, yeah, 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 I don't yeah. mind. Do you want me to like dig a little deeper? I'm just doing these just random to make shapes. If, if, you, if you are confident that you've got the shape right, dig a little deeper, Daddy, yeah. Because I'm going to be digging better. deeper. I did the little thing in my bobbies. That's perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a little deeper. So you want to make your lines a little bit larger, okay? I'll put my cutting tool in and just put it side to side like that to make the cut. The curves a bit larger. I'm doing so that too. Like that essentially. Simple enough and simple as can be, obviously. My amulet is nearly complete. My amulet's nearly complete as well, is it? Uh huh. See what that? I'm just gonna do the squiggly dance. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <coughs> and now if you look, see, look at the edges, there's lines along the edges here and here. So we try to do those as well. You are we happy with our tops? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So once we're happy with our tops, that's basically what we've done. Do you want to show them what you've done, Meg? I Let's did see. this. <coughs> Hold it a bit closer. So yeah, and so then what we do then is lightly turn it over because you don't want to ruin the work that you've already done. Okay. So don't be pushing down really hard at this point because there's an underneath. To Saudi's <coughs> amulet as well that he brought back, and I want you to try and get some of those simple designs on the back. So if you look at the bottom picture on the amulet, then you try to copy those lines as much <coughs> as you can. Okay, mine's turning up not that bad at the bottom. I think it's turning up pretty good. <coughs> look how thin. So yeah, so I've, I've attempted to do mine on the bottom there, and these girls are doing awesome. Fair play to them. And as you, as you can tell, it's quite a quick, <coughs> easy craft. But all you need to do is follow Daddy. the template, and then depending on what type of clay you use, it, you then follow the next bit. So if you're using oven baking clay, then oven baking, air drying, air. Show it to the camera. This is the bottom, and it didn't smudge at all. And I did the bottom. <coughs> yeah. So then you just simply put them somewhere in the sunlight and let them dry out for a there bit. There is no sunlight here. Ah, there is, there is, there is. But yeah, Meg, you want to put them over on the windowsill for us? Wow, so yeah, so remember you can download that sheet from martha.com, the downloadable content tab, and that the sheet will take you through everything you need if you want to craft along with us while you download it, then feel free. <coughs> and yeah, and that is us making our Saudi inspired Egyptian scarab, okay? So, we hope you've enjoyed watching us do this nice quick craft and leaves us to say hoi vau. Thank you very much indeed. Say hoi vau. Hoi vau. Bye bye. Thank you very much.